In Campsie, grassy open space is already in short supply. Apartment dwellers and their pets have limited opportunities to run around and things are about to get even tighter. More people are going to be fighting for the space. I don't think people really have the idea of what's going on. In Campsie, it's creating a better place to live and work. Campsie is part of the Sydenham to Bankstown development corridor which follows the route of the new metro. The number of dwellings in the suburb will grow from 8,000 to 14,000 over the next 20 years, due in part to unit blocks that will tower up to 25 storeys high. They pay for the building of the line by overdevelopment around the stations. Today, residents gathered in opposition to the metro development. They are trashing this suburb. It's a huge money-making exercise for both the government and developers. Despite the 6,000 extra dwellings, green space will be few and far between. There's no new space for the school either, which will have to cater for additional students with its limited resources. But the school has no playing fields. When the school wants to do sport, they walk down here. This is where we are now. This is the school playing fields. It's 15 to 20 minutes walk for a primary school kid. There's so little open space here, the government's planning on widening a median strip to create a long, thin recreation area. It's calling it a linear park. That obviously is all right for walking or walking a dog, but no kid's going to be allowed to be able to uh, kick a ball there. By the time this is finished in 20 years' time, there will be a more green open space and more livable areas than ever before. The government's seeking feedback until September, but it says residents will have to accept high-rise living as Sydney grows. We want to hear what people have to say, uh, but people have got to understand uh, that there, there is going to be an increase in population in Sydney. Uh, there is a housing affordability issue that we're dealing with. The government says in the years to come it may buy land to create extra parks. In the meantime, residents are making do. Nick Dole, ABC News.